Hello everybody, it's that ginger kid, and welcome to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this game played a lot of times by a lot of different YouTubers, um, but here's the thing, I haven't, because I bought this game a few years ago, in fact, and, um, the first video I saw of it, I was like, oh, it looks so cool, I'm gonna buy it, and I don't want to spoil it for myself. So that's what I did, and I kept telling myself I would play it, and the last time I did, I realized horror games stress me out a lot, uh, but I figured what better way to actually do some, to do this game and actually make it through and see what it's all about than to do it for you guys. So, here we go. Now, I've played to the point where you're supposed to go to, I think, you have Don't to get forget. something from storage. I must oh. Be forgotten. The shadow get out. Me. I must hurry. My name is yep. Daniel. I live in London. And yes, you do. And, uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes, you are. And don't you forget it. Well. Up. Up. Up, I do. Um. Oh, I'm cold and I'm ashamed. Lying naked on the floor. I can't see the perfect sky, though. Because I am indoors. It's awfully bright outside. Oh, what is? Follow the liquid trail. Follow the liquid trail. Follow the liquid trail. I'm gonna check everywhere else first because I don't want to die. This. The intro part, I am not too bad with, from what I recall, because of the fact that, um, well, no, it stressed me the hell out the first time I played, but I don't think I'll be too freaked out with the start of this, just because of the fact that I actually, I've played it once before, like, I know there's no, um, Oh, okay. Well, hey, guy. I I can caress his face. Shh, shh. It's okay. No words. Just decapitation. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right. Okay. Woo. And, um, even though I haven't played this game, I, uh... Up, up, do, okay, leg hair standing up. Alright. Okay, that's a good start. Oh, fuck, I don't remember that. Why don't I remember that? Ah, God, I'm glad my wife is away camping. Because she would... If she heard me making these noises and knew I was playing a scary game, she would definitely take that opportunity to scare the ever-loving piss out of me. And I have chills right now! <laughs> oh god, I'm such a baby. Like, okay, the reason I decided to pick up this game, n knowing it was a horror game, is one, um, I had played, when I was younger, um... Frankenstein, Through the Eyes of the Monster, which is a kind of spooky game, especially for a kid. Like, and it had Tim Curry as Dr. Frankenstein, and it was totally a, a new imagining of the game. I always close doors after I leave because I'm polite. Anyway, it was a new imagining of the game where the creature was trying to... He still had some of his uh, thoughts that were left over, and Dr. Frankenstein was, like, pretty much evil. And 
yeah, it was really cool. And I loved it, and I remember loving it, and, um, nope. It's a push door. Okay, and, uh, I also love horror movies. Like, I've seen some really creepy horror movies. Like, have you guys seen Mama? That's a really good movie, if you haven't. It, my wife didn't like... Oh, whoever's running in the halls... Die! Um... Anyway, yeah, like, I, I... Can you please not yell at me? Oh god, oh god, what's happening? Oh, why am I on the floor? Oh god, oh god, oh Jesus, oh Christ. I... F it has been too long since I've played it. Stop swearing. I'm trying to get myself to swear less, because both me and my wife, we swear a lot, just in general, like in casual conversation. And, uh... All right, that was less spooky. That was less spooky. Not not as scary as some of the other stuff that's happened here. What? Can I, hey, buddy. And put this right there. Okay. Tinder box. Okay. One of the things I was gonna say was I've. Oof. Get out of the dark, man. Get out of the dark. Get out of the dark. Get out of the dark. The dark is bad, from what I recall. Um, even though I haven't seen this game played, I scared myself with the sound the chair made. Anyway, even though I haven't seen this game played, I have, um, I've seen, uh, Markiplier play some, uh, of the, uh, custom stories. So I do know a little bit about the mechanics, but I was very careful throughout all my years to make sure that I didn't watch any Let's Plays of this game itself in the original storyline, because, again, I wanted it to... I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just trying to avoid having to do anything that might scare me. Um, what is in here? That looks like a plot important area. Nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I do know a bit of the game's mechanics, I just don't know about this game in particular. Okay, nope. Alright, okay, nope. Nope, 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 nope. And never again. Frick, all the hairs on my body are currently standing on end, including my beard. <laughs> oh, okay. Goodbye! Into the old archives. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. That was very close to me not being able to fully read that. My legs are like cactuses right now, in that all the hairs on them are standing way the f... Oh, no. Okay. No. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. And I should be a little bit more careful about the use of these things. What is happening in here? Um, anything? Ooh, tinderboxes. Don't, whatever you are, don't do. Don't be you. Can you stop, please? That's scary. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm anyway. I'm trying to swear less in my videos because rewatching some of my old like Rogue Legacy playthroughs, I just curse constantly, and I really uh, use it kind of as a crutch when I don't know what to say, and I do that in person too, which you know. I fill in the gaps with profanity, basically, is what I'm saying. What's down over here? Frickin' wind. Stop scaring me. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Why is there a tornado? Nope. 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 What's up there? Can I please leave? What? 
Where's the exit? Was that what you do in this one? I think I remember seeing a bit about the plot, but I can't remember. Was it literally you're trying to find your way out? Because it should be. Look at this place. People are tossing books around. <laughs> I don't want to use too much of this, so I should literally not use too much of it. Um... Because the thing I would hate the most is to all of a sudden not have a light source in this spooky f***ing... Why... Who's dragging chains? Why are those shaking? Why is there an earthquake? Everyone duck and cover. Jesus Christ, man. Ah. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. I just like the fact you can throw things, even though I know from what it said in the intro... And from the, uh, custom stories I've seen. Is this a treasure chest? Open. Hey. Can I smash it, maybe? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, hey! Yeah, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about before I got... Big bubble blowing baby scared of stuff that. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. I gotta do something other than just. I'm. I, I. I know myself. Anyway. Anyway, I liked horror movies. I loved horror movies. And. I, uh. I was always a big fan of them, and I never found them really that scary. Like, honestly, when it comes to movies. My wife is the one that would get more freaked out by them than me. I'm sweeping. Guys, I'm sweeping. This place is a mess. Anyway, my wife would get more scared by horror movies than me. And the thing is, my brain could always tell, like, it had nothing to... Oh, shit. Oh! That it? Okay, cool. Ooh. Okay, don't do that yet, because I don't know what will freaking happen. I don't know. Did something growl? Okay, anyway. My wife was the, uh, it was always the one that was freaked out or otherwise bothered by horror movies. Um. And... I was the one that I could watch just about anything and have, like, even if I was like, ooh, that was spooky, I would, uh, I would have no problem with it. Like, I'd be immediately over it after it was over and thinking about, like, how the movie was made. And yes, I'm wasting time because I'm scared something spooky is going to happen. Um, I know there's no monsters, but this has been putting me on edge. Anyway, uh, yeah, I would, you know, I'd, I'd be fine with it. And then, so I figured horror games would be, like, a natural fit. And I had actually not played this game yet and picked up uh, Five Nights at Freddy's thinking, oh, you know what, that sounds neat. I'm going to try that one out. And then realizing fairly fast that when I play horror games and I'm actually invested in it, I, um... I get really unnerved and stressed out. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. Yeah, Can't easier said than done. Know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. I'm there rubbing my arms to try and get my hairs my to go down. Effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. That bastard! Not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak. And yours, young and strong. Am I hitting he on myself? No match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. Delightful. It's a living nightmare. Breaking down reality. Even better. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. 
Great. You need to escape it as long as you can. And pee myself in the process. Redeem us both, Daniel. No. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Can I just leave instead? Oops, I, I kind of interrupted myself. Okay. Ha, huh, okay. Um, so I'm guessing I have to do this. Down. Up. Okay, alright. Okay. Now I know... Ah, stop hissing at me! <laughs> I know there's a decent amount of time. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in the stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Anyway, I know it's a fair while before... Um, I should have checked how long I had played this game. Why is it telling me how to run? Oh god, please don't chase me. No, it can't be this soon, right? Oh god, that startled me. In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. The inner My sanctum. Most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Ugh. God. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. That does it for this episode. <laughs> Whoo. Up. Oh went to silence my timer and stared at this uh, lovely eagle on the floor taking a wet duke. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you like seeing me be a big baby about horror games, then be sure to give this video a like. If you have suggestions for games you'd like to see me play, um, you want to mock me for being such a big baby about horror games, or any other reason whatsoever, please leave a comment down below. And if you like hearing my weird voice say weird things while playing spooky games, then be sure to obey the beard and subscribe. I'm putting out videos every single day. So yeah, this has been That Ginger Kid. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Later! Oh, well worth the change. Exit! Boom! Boom, baby! You're seeing progress in this goddamn game. You know, it doesn't look like this at all on the brochures. That wasn't at all Heavy's voice. <laughs>